for Chinese Taipei, it's Yang Po Swan and Hu Ling Fang up against another scratch pairing from Korea. Suo Xiang Jae playing with Shin Xiang Chan. So these two pairs never met each other previously. So here, Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Feng. Both of them played level doubles on Tuesday, two days ago, against Germany, where Chinese Taipei had a five love win in that tie. So obviously they both won their level doubles. We're now playing the mixed doubles. So a second match of the day for the left-hander Su Siang Jae, having won his men's doubles with Choi So Gu coming from a game down in our first match of the tie, beating Liu Chin Yao and Yang Po Han. So our court officials for this one, Latif Johari of Indonesia and Philip A. Young Chi from the United States of America. Well, I can tell you in the last of the group matches when Korea played against Tahiti on Tuesday, Su so Seung Jae played with Kim So Young. Uh, because the Koreans, I don't think, have played together before. And so this is the second. Uh, match that Shin Sung Chan has been asked to play mixed doubles because against Germany she was playing with Kim Won Ho and they lost to Lansfuss and Lo The only match in the group that Korea has lost in the two previous ties and so far today of course they're leading for love. So this is Yang Po Xuan 25 years of age, born in Tainan. He's a tall man, 186, that's just over six foot one. And they formed their partnership, this mixed doubles partnership, at the beginning of 2019, the Thailand Masters Super 300 event. And of course, since then, badminton and the world has been disrupted. Uh, but Hu Ling Feng is 23 born in Kaohsiung and she's a tall lady five foot seven and a half as far as Chinese doubles players are concerned she's one of the tallest so they weren't selected as a pair in either of the previous group matches but as I was telling you both of them have played so far in fact, uh, the women's doubles, Hu Ling Fang, was very busy because she played the two previous women's doubles prior to this match against Korea. So Sung Jae is 24 years of age and he's from Jeonju. And he's been as high as five in the world with Che Yu Jung, left-hander. Shin Seung Chan is better known as a women's doubles player, of course, fourth in the Olympics with Lee So He, who we just saw in the last match. She was also an Olympic bronze medalist going back to 2016 in Rio de Janeiro when she was playing with Jung Kyung Ong. So as I was explaining to you a moment ago, there's a brand new pair for Korea in the mixed doubles. So our court officials I was telling you about from Indonesia and from America. But this could be an interesting one because Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Feng are a regular partnership. 
semi-finalists at the Spain Masters last year, uh, beating Ramsfuss and Hertrick, and indeed Ellison Smith on the way through to that semi-final when they lost to Jiquel and Delroux, French pair, who then lost in the final in Spain. So they've had some good results. I don't think they can be underestimated at all. Taipei nearest to us, Yang Po Shuan and Hu Ling Feng up against the left and right handed combination from Korea. So Sung Jae and Shin Sung Chan. takes it early in that mid-court area does the left-hander strong indications of uh, a good match to look forward to yeah really strong start oh. yeah did the trick I don't know if you remember what years ago when Shin Siang Chen first came out of the junior badminton where she won two consecutive uh, gold medals in the uh, women's doubles. They tried her out in mixed doubles with Lee Yong Day. Do you remember that? And it didn't really gel. So they sort of abandoned it. But they, there was definite thought process that Shin Siang Chan was going to be a mixed doubles player. I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember. Oh, I do remember that. Of course, remember Lee Young Day in terms of mixed doubles. Yes, yeah, yeah. Olympic champion in Beijing in 2008 with Lee Ho Jung. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's very well taken. say I think it's an excellent choice in terms of selection that uh, Chinese Taipei have chosen Yang Po Xuan to play because when we saw him play the other day in the men's doubles against Lamsfuss and Seidel in Germany uh, they won 18 and 10 uh, the pair from Chinese Taipei but I really think that Yang was playing extremely well in that match so do I so I, I think it's honestly I think it's a very good choice yeah then always look to be more urgency in the style of play from Yang Po Xuan yes rather than Li Jiu Hui and we also saw uh, Li play the mixed doubles on that day or was the day before I can't remember but the mixed doubles did not turn out to be so good it was very much hot and cold as I remember yeah, it yeah you know you're right But you see, these team competitions are fascinating because, you know, of course, you've 
you've got to qualify from the group, but you don't want to tire out all your top players no. before the quarterfinal knockout stage. And that's also why we see a lot of uh, teams uh, with uh, good depth are using a lot of players. Yes. I think a lot of teams not trying to count to five, they may be trying to count to four, and then out of the four, three of them definitely will go home. Maybe they lose one of them on the yeah. way. I think that's the, the thought process. Oh, lovely, lovely play. Well, I knew that this pair from Chinese Taipei was good. We don't get through to the semi-final of the Spain Masters, beating Lemsfuss and Hertrick and Ellison Smith. Ellison Smith, I think, are currently number seven or eight in the world. Yes. Sarah. Oh, what a good flick serve. Uh, we saw him in the men's doubles as well. That's a very, very good server. Yeah, we were mainly singing the praises of his low serve, weren't we? But yes. that was a tremendous flick. tactical awareness. You know, I'm convinced her knee bandage, this lady's knee bandage, is even bigger than yesterday's knee bandage. Well, two days ago, I should say. It was yeah, two Tuesday, days. wasn't it? It was Tuesday, 28th. Yeah. So it's a four point advantage for Chinese Taipei in this mixed doubles. over six minutes for the mid game interval. Eleven seven. Oh, that's a great smash. Morton, if we're right about Che Yu Jung being injured or possibly not even being here, yep. or where's the error? That's going to, I think, have quite an impact on Korea's chances of lifting a fifth Sudaman Cup. Because I don't see either any of the women's doubles players being as good at mixed doubles to fill in as. As Che Yu Jung. Yeah. 
I think you, you have a point, but I, I think the best option they have is actually this option. With, uh, with Shin. I think she's the best option they have next to Cha Yu Jung. So I'm actually really looking at this one to say, okay, is this the one that they're going to throw in when it really matters and they have to, because we have to say that both these two teams have qualified already. Yeah. Um, and they knew that even when they did the selection for this match. However, will this be the mixed doubles from Korea when they get to the quarters or to the semi-final, should that happen? Mm -hmm. That's the interesting part to me. And I actually think yes. I think this is the best choice they have if Cha Yu Jung is not playing. Yeah, interesting. So I actually don't think they mind at all if this is going to be a very, very tough one because they need to deal as a partnership in a competitive situation. What a drop shot. That's super play from Hu Ling Fung. Done it on a few occasions to Sir Song Jie. It's been working really well. Good serve again. Yeah. Way out of position. Got themselves back. Did well. Did well yeah. to win that one. Certainly did. I think Hu Ling Fang is, is very, very agile on the court and is covering a lot of shots. Strong defence. Oh, I just mentioned it, but as we've seen so far, she's had a very good defence. You know, a couple of rallies ago, she made an error on the defence and I almost said uh, it didn't really matter about the error because she was trying to block it and was immediately and moving, moving forward. Moving, yes. forward forward so that's an instinctive mixed doubles uh, role for the female player on yeah. court and I liked it even though she made the mistake I liked what she was trying to do Pace to the round. Yeah, this is excellent. Oh, oh wow! Nice. Take that. How oh, crisply did that go down? That's one point in it now. Oh, string's gone. Yep. That's why he made the error. And the Koreans are back level. They've closed the four-point deficit. It's funny, I should have made a, a closed envelope because when it was 11.15 and the Koreans were serving, I thought, if they win this one, 
they still have a chance in this game. If they lose it and they will be 16-11 down, they won't make it. And now it's 16-0 because they won it. Yeah. <laughs> I should have made that close then. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to get your cup of tea back, Morton. I am. Um, I've, li yeah, I've <laughs> lost it. Now, this is a magnificent run. Five straight points from 2.16 now to be back in the lead. It's nice cross court net from Fooling Fun. Each and every point is really precious at this stage of a game. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, good cover from Young. Oh, and a good intersection though from Shin Seong Chan to finish off the rally. Seven of the last eight points. Short. Oh, yes, it's a service error. What a time to do that. That's a gift. Great defence, great defence from Yang Po Xuan. It did expose uh, one of the weaknesses from Siu Chung Che, the way when he's got to move backwards. He's good moving forwards, but when he's got to move backwards, he's not as comfortable. Oh, so the game point opportunity is with Chinese Taipei. What an excellent rally and a wonderful shot from Yang Po Xuan. Down inside the tram lines. Oh, super change of pace. So 20 all, and extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Oh, that's wild. Had to take it below net height, though. And so having just saved a game point... Now it's a game point opportunity for the Koreans. Oh, what a good serve from Shin Seung Chan. And having trailed for most of the opening game, the Koreans come good in the end by winning 22-20. 17 minutes for that opening game. You have, you have to help me a bit here, Jill. Help my memory a bit. When Shin Chung Chan is playing women's doubles, she's not the best of service. Am I right? I wouldn't have said that. She flicks a lot. What is it? There is something on the serve. I can't say that I have taken note of that. 
Okay. Because here really in this match, she, had, she has served excellently. Mm. Which just, I think I have something in my mind, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, let's look at this. I mean, she's steady. She holds it. Yeah, and pushes it's through nicely. Skimming the top of the tape. Yeah, beautiful serve. Seung Jae and Shin Seung Chan. Well, Korea won game to the good, sneaking through that opening game, 22-20, having saved a game point. Taipei really are very exciting when they're on the attack, aren't they? Yes. Uh, and it's also very interesting to watch that it doesn't look like they have a lot of communication between them. You know, when the rallies are over, talks, uh, encouragement, nothing. Yeah. They just look the other way and then, okay, next. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very unusual. And quite refreshing in a way. There's so much touching hands <laughs> nowadays and chatter between the two players. Yeah, well, after that rally, no communication again between the two. No, not at all. Chinese type, but I mean they. I mean, that's not a bad thing. We're not saying it in a detrimental way. It's just... No, no, it's just... It's a, just let's fact. get on with it. Uh, yeah. As long as they're good friends and they know what they want to do, that's fine. Yeah. In that sense, it's very refreshing. Oh, my goodness. One off the frame from Hu Ling Fan and then one off the frame from oh. Shin Xiang Chan. very much about who can get the attacking play first because he's ever on the attack it's winning these rallies ambitious when <laughs> Su Sang Jae is at the net there. But that was the very loose surf from Shin. And the previous one as well was very loose. I'm convinced I have a point. <laughs> Olympics you felt she was struggling with her serve or was it other and tournaments? Other tournaments as yeah. well. Okay. Yeah, just enough pace on that to make it awkward. And then very often there is this 
small controversy when it comes to Xin Zhongqian when she's uh, retrieving, uh, receiving services. Very often she's not ready. So she's very often cautioned by the umpire, say, please get ready. But that's all in women's doubles. That was great placement towards the right hip of Hu Ling Feng. Oh, that's nice. Six of the last seven points. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Delightful. What a shot. Such a quick approach. Oh, I think she forgot he's a lefty. Yeah, but the placement was awesome. Well, it had been six straight points and eight of the last nine. Uh, the pair from Chinese Taipei will be mightily relieved they've broken that run. Yeah, that's great skill. Five point advantage at the mid game interval for the Koreans. It looks to me as if. So Siang Jake has just upped his pace a little bit. He's coming forward more and guiding the shuttle, taking it early. And the reward is that five point advantage here in the second. I think compared to his normal partner, Che Yu Jong, uh, Shen Chun Chan is, is covering more at the back should it be needed. So he can move forward more than in his normal partnership. Very good point. Yes, because when the two left-handers play together, yes. she is more vulnerable at the back of the court. Yeah. Cheer you, John. is a prime example of how he's prepared to go forward more. This is a very fine example of what we just discussed. Yeah. Perfect. Yep, standing his ground at the nets. So Seung Jae, fully confident in his partner at the back of the court. Yes. Another flick surf, just perfect. It must be so really well disguised because yeah. the opponent is getting so fooled. Oh. 
Come on left. <laughs> Young Paul Han. <laughs> Even when he's supporting you as a character. Yeah, I like that change of pace from Wu Ling Fang. Good defence, good variation in attack, that rally had it all. Look at that beauty to finish it off from Xinxiang Chan. Oh, yes, out. Well, they're challenging. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely surprise shot. Yeah. I'm with you, Jill. It's out. I thought it was out. The line judge got it right. Yeah. I mean, instinctively, I was thinking yeah. back though to earlier in yeah. that. Was it the, the men's doubles? And we, there was one on that sideline that yes. Hawkeye yeah. determined for us. And I was very surprised by that. Yes, me too. Almost got that back. This isn't over yet, you know. No, no. Things can happen. It's exactly the same score line in the opening game, just opposite. And the Koreans came back and to win it. So, uh, of course, it's possible for the Chinese Taipei pair as well to do the same. Oh, that's brilliant. That's found the line. Oh, that could have been a very, very good flat counter attacking shot from Young Post One. Really good go at that one. So it's following exactly the same scoreline as the opening game. But a mirror image. It's just a mirror image. Just a Opposite in the sense that it's the other pair down. Oh, oh. that got deflected by the net cord. It did. Oh. 
Well, nice idea to try and change the pace, put in the drop shot, but it was well wide. And now the Koreans just three points away from this mixed doubles match and uh, a five love whitewash in the overall tie. Make that two points away. 19, and once again, Korea have played a really, really good team match. I think everything considering, I think they've done really well. Surprise, I think that uh, they won the men's singles. Yeah. It's match point opportunities. Seven of them. Four. So Seung Jae and Shin Seung Chan. And they convert on their first opportunity. The error on the return of serve from Hu Ling Fang. Uh, a disappointing way in a way for this mixed doubles to end because we had some super rallies. But 22-20, 21-13 in 35 minutes. So there is confirmation of that. And it does indeed mean that Korea have won Group B. And we'll get the seeded position at the quarterfinal knockout stage. There, the return of serve. It was another excellent serve from Shin Seung Chan. She was covering the return, had it have come over. So, Korea will top Group B. And they've done it in style uh, because they've won all five matches. Uh, starting with the men's doubles and Choi and Seo winning in three games. That was the longest match of the day, an hour and 18 minutes. Ang Si Young was simply too good for Yu Chen Hui. And then it was three games in the men's singles. The more favoured player, the higher ranked player, Cho Tian Chen, won the first, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And Hu Quan He finished extremely well, 21-17 in the deciding game. The scratch pairing from a career, a Kong Hee Yong and Lee So Hee were too strong for the new a pair from Chinese Taipei, but I saw real potential in that pair from Taipei. And as we've just seen in the mixed doubles, uh, well, the left and right-handed combination of Seo Song Jae and Shin Seung Chan coming from behind in the opening game to win it 22-20, 21-13. So there is confirmation of uh, the Group B standings. Korea only dropped one match uh, throughout all three ties, and that was against Germany. So by beating Chinese Taipei, five love, they topped the group. Chinese Taipei also go through, and I can confirm that Germany beat Tahiti, uh, five love, earlier today. So that's it for this afternoon, for this, well, it is afternoon now, isn't it? But in just, under an hour's time, we'll have another match and another group decider. It's a Group D decider. It's Japan, the beaten finalists from two years ago, up against Malaysia. Join us for that. Bye for now.